So I heard you need defined n-grams. Now if you're watching this video, I'm sure you understand the value of defined n-grams. But if not, basically in the helm, you can use these n-grams to purchase seasonal weapons, and it's also a great way to farm triple 100s. Now every activity in the game drops defined n-grams, but there's one activity in particular which I'll show you that gives you two defined n-grams every two minutes if you know what you're doing. The strategy is super simple, so be sure to listen so you don't miss anything. Before we farm, you'll want to make sure you buy the Defiant Sojourner upgrade, which gives you double the defined n-gram drops for every activity. You'll need war table upgrades to buy this, which you can get from seasonal quests and seasonal challenges. The activity we'll be farming is the final boss of the Shattered Throne dungeon. You can solo this, but I recommend you farm in a group of three and that's going to be the strategy that I show you today. Don't worry guys, it's actually very easy to find a group for this. Just google Bungie LFG and create one titled Define Engram Farming Shattered Throne Boss on the Everything section. Also, post the exact same thing in the Destiny 2 LFG Discord. You'll have teammates in no more than 5 minutes. Minutes. Now with the tips that I show you, you'll be able to tell them what to do to get regular 30 second clears. Now this game has a checkpoint system, that makes it so you don't need to redo the entire dungeon just to farm the last boss. I'll explain how checkpoints work now, but if you just want the farming strategy, skip to this time. First of all, you'll need to get to the last boss. This dungeon is very easy, and if you need help with that, again, just post an LFG saying you want to do the Shattered Throne dungeon. Once you get to this boss room, start the encounter by shooting something, then tell everyone to wipe for checkpoint. Everyone will then die, and this just saves your checkpoint. This checkpoint remains on the character you just died with. Next, you'll switch to the character you intend to farm with. After clearing the boss, you'll switch back to your checkpoint character, invite everyone, then join the activity. The second your ship starts to land, you can press swap character. This saves you a bit of time. Then you go back to your farming character and clear it again. And you could just do that infinitely until you get as many defined engrams as you want. This is how checkpoints work in this game. If you need clarification, leave a comment because I reply to everyone. Now let's get into the farming strategy. How this encounter works is you kill these three knights and they drop a buff. If one person picks up the buff, the entire team gets it. When you get a single buff, the boss becomes damageable, but if you get all three, you absolutely shred the boss. Be sure that all three of you are using the Ward Cliff Coil. Now one of my teammates actually had Galahorn. That's fine, but I do recommend Ward Cliff. I also recommend using Solar Warlock with Starfire Fusion Grenades. This makes things much faster, but isn't required like Wardcliff Coil or Galahorn is. Even after the Starfire nerf, all you need is the two charges. The last thing is you'll want a Waveframe Grenade Launcher. There are a lot of Thrall that can actually run you over since everyone is focused on the Knights and the boss. Only one of you actually needs the Grenade Launcher. Now for the actual fight, keep in mind you only spawn in with two rocket shots. With that said, Two of you are going to focus on the knights with your Wardcliff coil and fusion grenades while the other conserves ammo. When you kill two knights, sometimes one disappears. Wait for him to come back, then kill him too, and grab all three buffs. With all three buffs, Wardcliff coil actually two shots the boss. So that's what the third person is going to do from that point. It's very easy stuff, as you can see it's 30 seconds per run. The other 1 minute and 30 seconds is actually just spent in the menu using the checkpoint. Now in this run, I didn't get any defined engrams, but based on my experience, I'd estimate it's about a 50% drop rate for every activity in the game. Now that is it if you want the fastest defined engram possible. I did want to mention though that there is one thing you can do which will actually give you max rocket ammo. I don't recommend this for speed. But if your team is struggling or you don't trust LFG teammates, then this is a good option for you. When you use a banner in a raid, your ammo actually carries over into the dungeon for some reason. This won't work for you if you are hosting the checkpoint obviously, but your teammates will have 6 Wardcliff ammo. Do with that info what you will. It's also worth noting that if your teammate that's supposed to do damage to the boss dies, they lose their buffs and they can no longer damage the boss. However, you can still clean up with fusion grenades and your grenade launcher, which is one of the reasons I recommended the build. Now if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be much appreciated. I post Destiny 2 content daily. You can expect lots of guides, news, and a ton of creative fun ideas. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace guys.